Uh, good day to everybody, and uh, nice of you to tune in. Uh, I live in the uh, southeast of England, in a county that's called Kent, K-E-N-T, and uh, it is known as the uh, Garden of England, although it's uh, crisscrossed with motorways and channel rail links to the continent these days. But that was the title that uh, it had, and it's, it's, it has its beautiful spots, I must admit, like a lot of places in the UK. Uh, one refreshing thing that's going on, and that's down the far end of the county, at the eastern end, there's an area called Thanet, um, which is surrounded by coast, North Kent coast and the East Kent coast. And um, there's an 80 million pound project starting down there, or it's actually already started, and um, what it consists of is um, seven very high-tech greenhouses. Um, each one of these greenhouses is about the size of um, ten football pitches or soccer pitches. So you can appreciate the sort of size of each greenhouse. The site itself is about 91 hectares in, in, in size and it's down near Birchington at the far end of Kent and the project is actually called Thanet Earth T-H-A-N-E-T -E Thanet Earth which is quite novel um, the idea is that it's going to be able to produce uh, crops certainly salad crops tomatoes and uh, all the other items for a good salad uh, virtually 52 weeks of the year which um, is going to be pretty good for the UK with our weather conditions and the, using the latest um, hydroponic uh, growing techniques which uh, hydroponic growing techniques is where they sort of put um, a mineral uh, nutrient solution and they grow the crops in that or some sort of inert medium um, and it's uh, been practiced quite widespread and it's becoming very popular to use that sort of system. There's an automated packing plant going to be on site plus uh, a research and visitors complex and um, some uh, educational programs for schools and for communities locally uh, to come and witness virtually growing crops and getting them from that state to your dinner plate. Now, um, the other interesting point about this particular complex, Thanet Earth, is that um, all the greenhouses are computer controlled. As I say, they can grow crops for 52 weeks in the year. And um, they've got a, a, a system of heating of hot water. They're, they're using gas, burning the gas to create hot water, um, which will in turn heat the greenhouses but um, they'll also by doing that generate electricity and that electricity will be sold on to the national grid and can be used to supply enough electric for about 50,000 homes which is if it was applied directly to Thanet that's over half the houses in that area so you're generating electricity from burning gas and that is being used for the local area or at least on the national grid for 50,000 odd homes plus you're getting the heating to drive uh, the production of the crops. Um, the other good thing is that the CO2 produced is also being used in the production of the crops and will be absorbed by the plants as they grow naturally so that takes care of the, the CO2 issue, which is rather good. Um, there's some websites about this, and I'll try and put them up on the uh, panel next to this chat, and um, you can have a look and see what you think. And if you're in the area, you may even pay it a visit once the visitor's centre is open. The particular site is in the construction phase of the greenhouses which started in March of this year and I think production is hoped to be starting uh, very soon 
and there may well be some uh, produce on the shelves um, in the autumn time so um, it's all go down in Kent prior to the work starting as a further interest there was extensive works done over this particular area and um, there were some archaeological digs done as well because like most places um, these areas uh, do have some bits of interest in them um, certainly I think um, some Bronze Age um, artifacts have been found uh, going back about 2000 years BC and some Iron Age uh, artifacts as well which is a little bit later about 1800 to 1100 BC so um, that sort of work's been done and there's also a website about that with a few small videos to watch uh, the works going on and some of the finds that they've had in the area so it's all been done and structured in a really nice way and um, let's hope that this sort of thing takes off more widespread okay thanks for watching be in touch again. Bye-bye.